Hi guys, Season 2 Reloaded launched today in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Very exciting times ahead. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the new Act 5 mission in this new Dark Aether Rift. We're going to get it done, guys. There's a lot to do in here, man. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's go. Alright guys, I know this video is going to get 150 plus likes, man. I'm showing you guys step by step how to complete the Act 5 mission in the new Dark Aether Rift. And so I'm just going to show you guys step by step. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now for me, I don't know if this is completely random or not, but the x mission location for me was in the red zone. Not sure why, but it is what it is. Now for my loadout... You guys can use this same loadout. I didn't know what I was getting into, so I just prepared myself the best I could. But since I did do it, this is what I had. So um, I got three sentry guns. I got four monkey bombs. You can also use those Casimir grenades. I have five revive kits, plus I got the Hellhound. I didn't know if there would be a, a, a turret out there, so I just equipped that. Um, I strongly, strongly recommend, guys, PAP 3 LMG or whatever weapon of your choice, but Legendary Pat 3, the Wonder Off, I basically did not really use. You guys are going to see in the video here in a bit, um, so you can kind of leave that, but it's up to you. And Durable Gas Mask, and I am really, really glad I chose those. Like I said, I didn't know what I was getting into first time doing it, but you guys are going to see why you really do need Durable if you can, and Sentry Guns if you can. Pat 3, Legendary, and yeah. So, now, just like all these other uh, missions at this point, going into Dark Aether Rift, a uh, ton of zombies around, I got clapped immediately. Oh. <laughs> so, but again, I got the Hellhound with me and all that stuff, so I was pretty much good to go. And basically, you're just going to do like like the other x like Bad Signal. You're going to just do that and wait for that timer, and you are going to get in there. Alright guys, so it's going to kind of look like the other Dark Aether Rift where you really can't use the map for the most part. So you got that to deal with. Um, so yeah, I had to put my dog here, you know what I'm saying guys, my faithful companion over here. And so yeah, basically you just kind of follow what it tells you to do. So this first part, basically it tells you to go to this marker right here. And you're going to get to this building and you really got to go inside this building and go up these stairs right here to your right. And then when you get up those stairs, uh, eventually there's going to be, I mean, there's going to be some zombies in there. But once you get to the next floor, I guess this is like the third floor is the, the high, the top, top floor of this building. Then you're going to see your counterparts up there. Some military guys. These guys are on your side. And basically, you're going to have to get down to where the ACV is parked. And here is my first tip right here. Definitely come in here with the sentry guns. Now, again, like I said before, I had no idea what this mission was going to be like. So I figured I would bring in sentry guns because why not? It always helps out. And so, yeah, um, I think you can put up to four i know some guys say you can put five six maybe even seven sentry guns i think the most that i've been able to put on top of an acv is four but you know these three that i have right here are definitely putting in work and that's kind of what you want because as you can tell there's a bunch of zombies in this part of the mission so i'll just tell you guys it's a bunch of mimics manglers for sure and disciples the triple threat <laughs> you could say so you got that to deal with and of course you got the regular zombies to deal with and uh so yeah now you're gonna get to the point where you well, well basically it's going to tell you that there is something disrupting the signal so you gotta find that so for me i found it easy um you're gonna hear that sound it's gonna come from that device right there with that antenna and you're also gonna see like the light pulsing as well so you're going to see the light pulse eventually if you look around for it. And when you get there and hit X, watch out. There's going to be a mimic. Now, I really don't understand the technicalities of it, the scientificness. Of it. I know that's not a word, guys, but 
basically when you kill the mimic then that disruption is over and basically you can continue on so basically once you get that done you are going to continue on it's also get, going to get to this little uh, sphere device not really sure what it is but basically the ACB um, takes it on the front of it attaches it and it does something I guess I'm not even really sure guys but now the next part is a building right here now right here is where um, it's gonna be like one of those well I forgot what you call it the infested stronghold so there's 15 spores so this is why I was glad I brought in a durable Again, I had no clue. I just picked up a durable just because. I was like, I don't know. Um, I think I did a mission. Yeah, I, I did an escort mission or a cargo mission, I believe it was. And one of the rewards was a durable. So I'm like, dude, I might as well bring this durable in. You know what I'm saying, guys? But I will say this. Even if you don't have a gas mask or durable, as you can see, they are throughout the map. Now, I found this one on the second floor. I don't know... If they're on the first and second floor to be honest with you guys but I know that's where I found that one so at least I know there's gonna be one so you know if you have a durable or if you even if you don't have a durable you're probably gonna be good because you can always come outside to kind of like you do a infested stronghold or infested gas station you know you can kind of go out and in if you need to get your health back up so eventually the ACV will end here and you guys already know what this is guys. It is an Outlast contract. Now the Outlast contract basically is the same as any other Outlast contract. Only difference is it's in this dark ether as well and tons of zombies man. So my only thing on this was pretty much I'm glad that I had the golden armor plate. One thing I wish I did have though guys is the ether blade. Um, that would definitely help out as well, but I did pretty good now after that outlast contract guys basically uh, Ravenov is going to exit the area and Enter comes the boss Cravir. that's how I pronounce it guys. I hope I'm saying that wrong or hope I'm saying that right actually So this boss right here guys. I'm gonna let you guys know He's got a lot of armor. He's got a lot of health and if you get close to him he will give electric damage, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he will pulse, and it will generate this electric charge that will definitely cause you lots of damage. And so you got to watch out for that. So for me, I just kept my distance, as you guys can see, and I just laid into him with this Path 3 Legendary LMG. And again, this is why I chose to come in with an LMG, because it's 200 rounds to the clip. And I just emptied the whole clip, clip in him just now. And I got him down a little, little over 75% done. And again, I just lay into him again and just keep getting at it, guys. You're going to have to deal with the zombies, of course. And as you can see, there's going to be some mini bosses. I'm sure there's going to be disciples still up in there as well. Hellhounds, you name it, guys. Brain Rot, if you got Brain Rot, equip Brain Rot ammo. That's going to help you guys out as well. That definitely helped me out as well, guys, because it definitely... Um, make some zombies kind of do some of the work for you for the most part so yeah that definitely helps out and eventually he will die and will give you a reward with rift now I don't know what this golden cup is if you guys know what it is let me know it's some kind of souvenir um, no clue what it is guys but I know what this is this is the golden key that will pretty much grant you a um, the bike you know what I'm saying, guys? So, that's pretty cool. Now, of course, you're going to have a... It's going to trigger this cutscene. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So, I'm just going to fast forward. But I did watch it. It's pretty neat. Goes along with the story. Pretty cool. Now, other things that came with this Season 2, the Bloodburner keys and that re uh, infinite ammo. I can't wait to unlock that. I'm going to get a new video coming soon. But, again, um, the other thing is this containment level. Apparently, the more missions you do then the better you off the better off you are coming into the map you come in with these things right here so yeah that's pretty cool guys Man, that's the video if you guys are having trouble with it, let me know see you guys on the next video peace